I don't understand why you single women in Decatur or Athens, Tennessee, why can't you guys come to the door? Why can't you text, call, so I can get to know you, send a pretty picture of you, so I can say, you know, if you're pretty or if you're, you know, maybe we could chat and talk and, and, and get to know each other. I, I really want this. I don't know why you guys are texting my phone saying I don't want this uniform bastard crap. I never said that. I don't know who's putting that through your fucking heads, but that's going to get, you're going to get that out of your heads. I've been buying you guys beautiful stuff. I, I even gave you my, my real diamond ring that cost $800 that my husband bought me because he, he said he was trying to replace the one that Crap Core had because, you know, I gave her that one. I don't understand this. I'm not going to wait until I'm on a cane or a walker or if I'm in a hospital and I see you when I'm, you know, 60, 80 years old for you guys to come. You need to come now. We're not waiting all these games. We're not waiting 100 years from now. I'm, I really want this. My husband really wants this. I keep asking him every day, where is, where is this coming? He always says, you know... He, bless his heart, he said he wanted it to be like, you know, like what he drew up, you know. And he said it used to not be like this when, uh, uh, how many years, honey? But I, I just, I want my corny, you know, my unicorn bestie because, you know, I want something beautiful and skinny and athletic and smart and beautiful. And, and do fun things with small, cut up, dance, listen to music, color, uh, watch the Braves games with, and, and go places, you know, like bowling, shopping, you know, that's, and, co you know, and going to concerts. I've never been to concerts, and, and uh, I've never been to, you know, Wick Weenie, you know, I've never been there. I never got a chance to go there. Yes, I collect reborn dolls. And, and and yes, I made a wrong mistake of bringing a crap core down here. Yes, it's my fault. It's not my husband's fault. It's my fault. And, you know, we just want somebody that's, you know, single without, you know, kids and uh, ex-husbands, ex-boyfriends around. If you are ours, we want you to pay more attention to us not nobody around you nobody talking to you yes if you got family that keeps in contact with you yes they can text you but you know when we have our time you're going to spend a whole time with us you're going to look at us you're going to do things with us we're not going to let you sleep the first time you met us we are going to get everything out of you we're the first time you met us we are going to get everything out of you we're going to drive you nuts. We're going to get to, we're going to ask you questions that you feel uncomfortable about. And no, we do not want to hear about drama and, and your past. I'm going to make that clear. We're going to drive you nuts. We're going to get to, we're going to ask you questions that you feel uncomfortable about. And no, we do not want to hear about drama and, and your past. I'm going to make that clear. We do not want to hear about your past. You can wait a couple years after we've been together. My husband will be here to listen. I want to make sure, honey. Hey, Jessica, I'm late. I'm on the way. I don't want you guys to get in trouble because I'm only 16. Yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to make sure, honey. Oh, I 
some high speed going from a straight line. A little straight line down here. I told her that we had two red apartments. I told her we had an orange, gar orange trash can. I told her to come up from it. I told her you see two red apartments. Apartments. She said, should I bring anything else besides the doll? I said, bring your clothes and shoes. She said, so I don't have to go back home to my parents. She said she don't like them. They're just her adopted her foster parents. He said, do I have to go to school because I'm only 16? She's still in school. Mm -hmm. She's still in school. She said, does she have to go to school while she lives here? Because she's still in high school. Mm -hmm. I thought she didn't have to. She didn't want to. I mean, I <clears throat> I mean, you people drop that out, but I don't know. So, I didn't, because I didn't. I mean, I. Oh, she said, Can I just stay at night or two? And then she said, Because oh, I got school and everything. I said, You can drop out if you want to. I said, You don't have to stay in it. She said, well, I'm only a freshman. I said, so what you're a freshman? <laughs> Too good. Hey, Jessica, I'm late. I'm on the way. I don't want you guys to get in trouble because I'm only 16. So she, she said, could she live here without the landlord knowing? Cause I told her we rent. Cause she asked. She said, "Can you not tell the landlord?" And uh, I don't care how old she is. And if you guys don't like it, y'all can kiss my ass. She's she's doing this out of her kind of her heart. And if anybody messes with her, they're gonna fucking mess with me. I think this is a good thing. Like my husband said, this is gonna be good for me. So if you guys don't like it, kiss my ass. Okay, she's only staying for the weekend, so she can get used to us. And if she wants to live with us, fuck y'all. I think my husband said he's getting ready to delete this video, so. She said, can I call you Jesse? I said, yeah, you can call me whatever you want to call me. She said, my name is beautiful. You don't usually hear that from a 16-year-old child. She said, I want to be your daughter, if that's okay. Oh, huh? I said, yes. Um, oh, I'll ask them all funny, not necessarily. I'll ask them all funny, you know, you know, from the shitty day, you know, kind of in the way, and then all of a sudden that popped up out of nowhere. She said she packed up all her clothes and she's in it and leave a note for him. She said, Go ahead and call your landlord. Is dad there? He's looking for you, baby. He's looking for you.
She's calling you, Dad. She said, where's Dad? I'm right here. Oh, she's looking for you, baby. Oh. She thought you left. No, I'm right here. Daddy's right here, baby. Oh. She's looking for you, honey. Oh, I'm right she here. She thought Daddy left. No, I'm She's crying. Look at it. Rogue down here. Baby, she's looking for you, honey. Oh. She was I'm looking. Right she said, where did Daddy go? Where did Daddy go? She said, where did Daddy go? Oh. I'm right here. No, but I can go to the store and get you a car seat for it. Oh. <clears throat> it's a sad, sad Dark. Oh, okay, baby. We understand. We understand. <laughs> we understand that, baby. Wow. Well, oh, she's going to drop out of school, she said, for us. Bless her heart. <laughs> Baby, I think we found something special. Goodness gracious. We'll have to get her a ring later. Well, see, that's what I said. It went right when you get rid of something. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, shit. We'll have to do Baby, that. we'll get you a ring uh, later, but we got a bag for you and stuff. Uh, well, yeah, we'll. Well, that's a, well, that's a, that's a, that's a, save up some stuff. It should be nice. Want to leave her car lane or she wants to stay here? She wants to stay here, so. Oh. She don't want to go back. She said that they're mean to her. Mm -hmm. Let's see if she shows up. I don't want to go from there. Okay. At least she's got a car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She don't have no kids, she says. No, no she said she's never dating. She's but, uh, she's on birth control, she but, said. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something unusual. Yeah, that, that told me how. That's a big surprise. Back then, they didn't have nothing. Uh, yeah, Zach said, Leave my brother, my sister alone, you abuser. She won't, she, she said, She said, Zach, I want Derek. She wants you. Oh, she wants you, baby. She's talking good, Timmy. She's she's sticking up for me and you. She said, Zach, back off. They're just jealous because they know I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. She said, I left him, Jessica. I can't take the abuse anymore. We need to come. We need to come to a... A, a commitment, you know, to our unicorn bestie. We want to make a commitment. We want to adopt you as our daughter and, and do things with you. And that's what a unicorn bestie is, is adopting a single woman as a daughter. Everybody on Facebook knew what a unicorn bestie is. Well, I'm going to put this on video because most people ask what a unicorn bestie is. It's somebody adopting a single woman like us that most people don't do, like my husband said. Most people don't do like what we do. We want to adopt you as our beautiful daughter. Uh, late 20s, late 30s, uh, only in Decatur, Tennessee, or Athens, Tennessee. Not, we're not taking anybody out of state uh, because we're not going to be doing cards and money and, and stuff like that. So here's my husband. Well, yeah. and you know, it's probably be, uh, you know, probably it feels like a thousand times already. I know it ain't been, but 